Utah, hollow purple. This is pretty cool. Landscape page, pencil eraser, hit pause for good fast. It's Gojo hollow purple, but you know, with not, don't want to spoil anything for people who aren't reading the manga, but it's Utah. And uh, eyes. Set the point of my page about here. Come across. And we'll go top eyelid line. Now head tilted, right? Everything's leaning, right? So his shoulders like go that way, diagonally. <clears throat> so that means the head is as well. So curve line. We'll go diagonal and then curve it across here. Right? And then we'll just bring the bottom line around like that. And of course Gojo has all those eyelashes and they just in the manga they just do like a sketchy line but I prefer doing it kind of anime style to be honest down like that kind of because you can color them sort of pinky purple it's just better in my opinion and you got like a line of them down here as well but they just do that like in the anime as well they just do it this way And then, so his eyebrow, right? So it kind of joins his nose. Diagonal line there. And then the eyebrow kind of just goes kind of straight-ish. Like across, say, here. Touches his eyelashes a little bit, I'd say. Goes up this way. Just like a big, sharp eyebrow. They do textures. And maybe like eyelid line. All right, and then we got big old blue eye in there. Pupil somewhere in the middle, and then nose line again. So it goes down here, and then hooks back. And then we got the nostril just there. And kind of maybe an eyelid line or some eye line or something in there. And just the other side. So we got like his nose going that way. <clears throat> just get that in. And draws it like that. And I here. And then goes down around. And then sometimes they draw in tear ducts. But we're gonna add eyelashes, so little spiky ones. Brings his eye kind of closer to his eyebrow than in the manga, but still think it looks better. And then those big old blue eyes again. And his eyebrow kind of joins his nose again. Comes across here. Quite sharp. Just texture lines on that. Maybe like an eyelid line or two. Just coming across there. And his mouth. So he's saying hollow purple, isn't he? Nine points. Oh, yeah. Well, nine points polarized light. And then... He says hollow purple. But, so his mouth's kind of open, right? But we'll just draw it kind of closed a little bit so it just curves across here. How far across does it go? Yeah, about to there, I'd say. And then we'll open it up. So we go down. Around. Back up into the corner. And his bottom lip is like here. So they draw in the teeth. So go like they do this sort of shadow for where the tongue would be. That actually looks alright. And then they do they give him like some sort of teeth gum line kind of things just there. And then his chin relatively square. <clears throat> 
and because we're in three quarter, you have a different line either side. So it's just it's a different way of drawing a face, right? And it just it makes the drawing a bit more dynamic, right? So we go up this way. And change direction, right? That's the first way. It's kind of a standard jaw. It's a little bit higher up because his head is tilted forward. Like the jawbone is kind of underneath his eye there. And then the other side's different, right? So he kind of goes in a bit and then out for his cheekbone. Okay, so it's different. And it's, it's not the same level because his head is tilted. So it kind of comes out into his eye and back out for his forehead. And then it goes back up that way around where his scar is. So that scar just comes across his forehead here. And then we have scar lines. Uh, it's kind of sporadic. They're not sort of evenly spaced or anything. So don't worry too much about evenly spacing them or anything. I like this drawing of this guy. I don't know his name actually. The artist, the manga artist. I never looked it up. Sometimes his panels are like real clean and then not at all. It's just his style, I guess. Okay, so above the jaw, we have his sideburn, just a V. Right? And then the ear comes out from there. And then you have ear lines inside. And then we do his hair sort of texture just there on the side. Like so. And then hair spikes. Just coming across the forehead. Because yeah, the power, obviously, Apollo Purple is kind of like blowing his hair back. Or maybe it's just the way he's moving. So his like fringe is like, and all the hair kind of goes this way, more or less. So let's see. So we'll go texture lines kind of there. And then the hair that comes out from behind his ear sticks that way. And then it all seems to start going around his head, just kind of this way. And now the manga obviously goes like pretty crazy in with all the spikes and textures and stuff. So we'll just kind of do it as best we can. Simplify it a little bit maybe. Just all these kind of hair spikes here. Right, and then if you want, you can go stuff like this on the inside. Not obligatory. The anime doesn't really do this, but the manga does. Mine's a bit thick there. Okay, so massive hand like probably the same size as his head i would say like height wise like the whole space of it like is about the same as his head right so we can just see his shoulders right kind of up and down here and some neck actually some of his neck there with a t-shirt line and then the other shoulder so you see now the sort of diagonal position of his body and then the hand is like in front, and then we'll try and connect it up to those shoulders again. Okay. So thumb, right? Bump here, right beside his mouth. Bump up. That way, for the thumb knuckle. 
you have two knuckles on your thumb so you got to do another one that way tip of the thumb so he's like he's doing that right so the thumb is resting as he just before he flicks right so he's like building up the hollow purple so it's like the thumb is sort of hidden behind this sort of knuckle that he's about to blast this it goes there down you can just kind of see the side of this finger right There's like some knuckle lines. I like the way he draws hands. I wonder what pen he uses. It looks like a brush. I guess we could see some more thumb lines and stuff in here. And a thumbnail. So forced like forced perspective in hands is not easy right so so two more fingers kind of the, the ring finger sticks up here pinky goes down and index sticks out here but it's not like super long because it's kind of like coming towards the camera if you imagine there's a camera right so so kind of like shortened foreshortening is what it's called when an object like comes into the foreground it gets a little bit shorter than you would think like say if my arm is real long it gets shorter as it comes up towards the lens so we have three bumps on this index finger it's like these three wrinkles your fingers have three segments always some enemies actually just do two but the more realistic ones tend to do Three. Okay. Make another hand line there. And we'll go down. Got a knuckle. Another knuckle. And then pinky knuckle. The pinky is like coming down this way. Knuckle lines here. So then the ring finger curving over, kind of like an S nearly. And then this bumps around here. And then his fingernail. Like that. And there's some knuckle lines on this. His little finger just kind of like bumps this way, like kind of similar to that, just pinky, different. And Okay, so hand about the size of the head, real big. Pinky doesn't fit, goes all the way. And then the collar just comes around his neck then. You can see kind of his neckline there a bit as well. And then neckline in there, like so. So his other hand is on his bicep coming across so let's say shoulder there and what looks like tricep so, tricep kind of going down that way and then like side body there and then his elbow coming across this way right so you got like his forearm up 
to elbow here in the forearm thin enough it's not like overly muscular muscular scoot up there tricep there shoulder and then his body going that way cause it's kind of like leaning all here so just underneath like his forearm okay so then we have to put in his other fingers on the other hand just over here right so it's kind of like coming up it's drawn fairly basic here up and down right so you just have these knuckle lines Just get the basics in first is like pinky kind of here and then this is all sort of fingers just coming down there you should see fingernails and stuff a little bit <clears throat> and right, so every his t-shirt's just like all colored black. So there's some scratches on his face and arms now, I think. So like not much. His shoulder should be wider. I would probably put shoulder maybe there a bit as well. Okay, Utah, hello purple. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.